Alright, hey there, Elite Hacks 360 viewers. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use Xbox 360 controller on your computer. Uh, this is mainly for, uh, like, say you guys want to take your Xbox on a vacation, take a lot of cords, you know, but you don't want to do that. So you can just take your laptop, play COD 4 on your PC while using the Xbox controller. So it's technically the same thing to me. So, anyways, what you're going to need is a wireless adapter. You can get these on Amazon.com for around like ten dollars. Um, a Xbox 360 controller, an X Patter. This is ten dollars. X Patter is ten dollars to buy. But you can also look up on YouTube like X Patter free people have links to get it for free. So anyway, let's get started. What you're gonna want to do is open up X Patter. Somehow mine closed, and you're gonna want to click this little mm, controller symbol. Well, guys, remember to make sure you connect your controller to this little white connector. So, you're going to hit New, and come up with this blank purple screen. You're going to hit Open, and you're going to want to download this Xbox Pad picture from my uh, description. So, after this opens up, you're going to hit Sticks, Enable, put, it says Push Stick 1 Left. So, what you do is take your left analog stick, push it left, and it says Push Stick 1 Up. So push it up. You just take it and drag it over that analog stick. You want to hit enabled again. You want to push. The, now you want to push the other one, left, then up. Now you're gonna put that up there. Now you're gonna take D-pad, hit enable, and you say press up on the D-pad, down, left, right. So then, see as you can tell, it's for PS3 also. So guys, make sure you check. Make sure. If you want to use a PS3 controller to do this, you can. But you're going to want a PS3 picture. So then you're going to hit buttons. Now you're going to want to hit back. Run this little button up. You're going to hit X. Take it. Line it up with the X button. Look, A. B. Y. You want to click the left analog stick, push that right there, and click the right analog stick, put that right there. Okay. And then you're going to want to hit triggers. You're going to hit enable. It says hold left trigger, hold right trigger. It'll automatically line that up for you. So then you're just going to hit okay. So then you're going to come out with this layout. And I, as you guys can tell, I have already lined up my button layouts how I would like them. For COD, this is a COD 4 setup. Now, if you want to do like an MW2 setup, you just hit like that. And you find what button moves you. Like, what, what is that? I clicked Y. What button changes weapons in MW2? And I'd hit 2. Because from what I think, MW2 changed weapons by pressing 2. So you press 2. It'll close out this. And you're, it'll be mapped there. And then you just do that to get all the way over around the controller. Now, that's pretty much how you guys do it. Um, I uh, so yeah, guys, I could show you right here. I'm moving the right analog stick, and it's moving the mouse on the screen. When I select things, when I shoot in COD 4, it's right triggers. So that's left click. So I go down to like this little Windows icon. I right pull the right trigger. Then I can like right click on something doing that so yep i right, guys make sure you subscribe rate five stars comment uh make sure you stay tuned for more videos all right guys thanks for watching